Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Quilling Lady, and I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make Japanese dreams circular card using a free gift from Creative Stamping Magazine issue 104. The magazine comes with a full size stamp set called Japanese Dreams, and all the images were designed by Olga Direktorenko from Paper Discovery. The set also comes with embossing folder, which I'm going to show you later on. First, I decided to use that amazing made to surprise lightweight circle cutter because I thought, yes, I want to make circular cards and I don't really have nesting dice in bigger sizes. So I thought, let's try this tool and let's try if it works. So I decided to have six inches card size. And as you can see, this small ruler you can actually measure in inches and in centimeters so i'm using 300 gsm white card and a cutting mat underneath and this way i'm going to make sure that all my panels are exactly the same size so i've got the front of my card and now i'm going to create the back of the card and as you can see i didn't have to use any other measurements and now i'm going to use brown card for extra layer and to give my card even more interest because I was actually inspired by Japanese interior designs so I thought it would be great for today's project. As you can see I'm creating a frame so I'm actually uh, put that green cutter a little bit lower down to give me that beautiful frame. Super quick and easy and I'm really pleased with that lightweight circle cutter and I'm definitely going to use it again. To create my, uh, let's say, wall, I decided to use tracing paper. However, you can use vellum as well. The choice is absolutely yours. Now, when we've got all those panels ready, we are going to start assembling them. And yes, I want to use brown card as well, because that will give me more strength and interest on my design. So I use small strips here and I'm going to create a wall design, super quick and easy. And whenever you watch Japanese films, the interior designs are very simple, but beautiful. And that's what I wanted to show in today's project. To put all my pieces together, I decided to use my magic glue, liquid glue, one and only glue, because it dries clear and it is perfect for any paper craft projects. And it is so quick and easy and as you can see I try to make sure that most of the pieces are evenly spaced and actually I'm using my grid to do this it is super quick and easy and whenever you use vellum or tracing paper it's a really big tip for you now I'm going to use my scissors to get rid of all those smaller pieces that hang off and we are nearly done with all our panels and then I'm going to leave that panel to dry and what you can actually do you can put a piece of acrylic uh, block or something else here is the embossing folder I told you about however I'm not going to use it in today's project maybe for the next one and now I'm going to choose all the stamps and images and as you can see I'm going to use the leftover piece from 300 GSM card and I really encourage you not to throw away any of your card pieces because you can actually use them for stamping smaller images and yes let's use all our scrap papers. Now to stamp all my images I decided to use black ink from Spectrum Noir and this one is actually waterproof because later on I'm going to use zig markers because I haven't used them in a very long time so I decided why not let's revisit them because I love them and I haven't used them for a long time so yes today is the day to color in my images with zig markers. What is your favorite color medium? For your projects please let me know in the comments down below also i wanted to tell you that tomorrow i'll have a very 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 special birthday card for a young lady who loves cats and dogs also on a thursday i will have another inspiration for you from card making magazine and on saturday I'm going to have a really amazing video for you. That is the first time I'm going to do this kind of video. So I'm really excited. And I just wanted to let you know that that's what's going to happen next week. So I really hope you will stay tuned for all my videos next week.
Now, as you can see, I've got the selection of zig markers, and what I really like about them, they've got very nice, fine brush tip, and they blend so beautifully and easily. Have you ever used zig markers? If you have, what is your favorite color combo? Please let me know. As you can see, to mix and blend all my colors, I'm using wet paintbrush, so it is super quick and easy. And if you want to dry all your layers in between, you can also use a heat tool, and I'm going to do that later on, because I want to make sure that all my elements are completely dry before I start cutting them out with my scissors. And as you can see, coloring all the images, it is super easy. For this scene, I decided to use sunset colors. And whenever you have sunset, we have beautiful sky and all the other landscape elements are pretty dark. That's why I've got very dark blue and green for this element. And this one will actually be a landscape looking through a window. That was the inspiration for this card and I thought it will be brilliant. I really hope that this video will inspire you to create unusual shape cards this year because they are just stunning and I really really like how unique they are. Now I decided to use um, very nice orange, pink and purple to color in kimono for that beautiful Japanese lady and I just couldn't resist. If you want to follow the landscape and sunset colors, you can do it the other way around. So start with the orange on the left hand side, then pink and purple on the right. However, I was just so excited about using my zig markers, so I just completely forgot where my lady is going to be on the card. But it's okay. All the colors will match anyway. Now I'm going to add a little bit of color to our sentiment and I thought this card doesn't have to be for birthday. I really want this card uh, to be very inspirational for someone and for someone who has some dreams but they don't always know how to make sure that they will come true one day. So I do think that dreams are very important in our life. And I do have dreams and I try to do everything I can in my power just to make sure that at some point of my life, all my dreams will come true. Now, as you can see, I've got two circle nesting dice and I created that beautiful brown frame from the window. And with the smaller one, I'm going to die cut it from our beautiful panel, super quick and easy. And then we will be ready to assemble all the elements. And on the back on uh, my, let's say, wall element, um, I will have double-sided foam adhesive. And what I actually did, I double-sided them. So there are two layers of double-sided foam adhesive and then I'm going to use liquid glue just to make sure everything is stuck forever. And as you probably saw me here, I put my wall first and I used my pencil to trace and this way I knew exactly where my landscape picture will be. Super quick and easy. I really, really hope you liked this video so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as I told you before, I've got so many ideas this year for new videos, so stay tuned for all of them. And I also wonder, what do you think about this color combo for this card? Do you like the sunset colors also on the kimono on the lady and umbrella? If you do, please let me know in the comments down below. So as you can see, this cut, it is super quick and easy to make. You don't really need that many tools. And as you saw me, there is a way if you don't have very big nesting circle dice. And I really like that new tool and I'm pretty sure I will use it later for other projects. Now to create our base, I'm using my scoreboard. As you can see, I put my a bone folder, made the score line, and I'm going to assemble all the elements together. And if you want your card to stay nicely and proudly flat, just use your scissors and cut the bottom. Super quick and easy. And our cut is done. I really wonder what do you think about this? Would you like to give it a go? I really hope you do. If you have this magazine, please use it because that beautiful stamp set Japanese dream is so, so gorgeous. And all got an amazing job 
designing all those images. I absolutely love them. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video and stay tuned for the video on Monday, Thursday and Saturday. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Bye for now!